Why in the world was Mei Mei's mom's panda form from turning red so ridiculously huge? I mean, I feel like the answer is kind of obvious. She's probably bigger because she may have been a way more emotional sort of person who bottled all of it up. And it's pretty common for people to have explosive sort of reactions out of nowhere when emotions are bottled up. But the absolute monstrous size makes me laugh. And I kind of wonder if Pixar intended for it to be to some extent funny. Although another thought is maybe it was inspired by anime. The film overall had tons of anime influence in it, and anime is known for huge monsters like Attack on Titan or even Godzilla. That all said, Ming is quite a complex character in my opinion. What do you think? And who should I draw next from Turning Red? Okay, but Jin is the dad we all need in our lives, and this is not up for debate. Not that I think anyone here would debate me on this though, since Jin was requested a ton by a lot of you all. But of course, I have seen comments saying he does have flaws, the biggest being that he does the bare minimum. Jin didn't have the biggest role, and we didn't see him interacting a whole ton, but the times he did share a scene with his daughter were the times it counted the most. In my mind, he's not a bare minimum dad. We're only seeing this family going through a specific event in time. We don't know how much he's there for his daughter, but judging by the scenes he did have with her, I think it's safe to assume he does a lot for his family. And clearly at the end when the grandma yells, where is he? And we see him already on the ball doing what he knows needs to be done is a huge tell for the great sort of character Jin is. But what do you think? And who should I draw next? BTS 100% inspired Young from Four Town. He's definitely my favorite out of the group and even sort of looks a bit specifically like Jimin. The cool thing is the director of the movie Turning Red has even confirmed that BTS actually was the inspiration for this character, along with other K-pop groups like 2PM and Big Bang. It's also cool though to see this group embody boy band culture across generations, from Backstreet Boys and NSYNC to One Direction and Big Bang, and then finally BTS. As far as drawing Young goes, I had a ton of fun and I really feel like this came out a lot better than a lot of my other Turning Red drawings that I've done of the male characters. What do you think? And who should I draw next from Turning Red? Robert is to Fort Town what Justin Timberlake was to NSYNC. Clearly he's the leader and the cool thing is Pixar even set up an official website for this group where you can watch videos, read their bios, and get some virtual goodies like gifts and wallpapers. But I mentioned this because I decided to read up on what the creators wrote for Robert on his bio and it mentioned that he's basically destined for a successful solo career. Definitely some big JT energy right there. Or perhaps Harry Styles energy? Either way, I love how boy bands have evolved over the years from NSYNC and Backstreet Boys to One Direction to now K-pop boy bands taking over. I kind of feel conflicted though with this piece as I love it, but it kind of doesn't feel too much like Robert. But what do you think? And who should I draw next from Turning Red? I just really enjoy the fact that one of the biggest goals in Turning Red is not that Mei Lin has to save the world or defeat some big bad villain, but to just be a normal teen girl and attend Four Towns concert. It's a storyline that really connects with a lot of viewers in my opinion, and it's refreshing to see something more simplistic when it comes to goals. I feel like the whole idea of a literal child being given the responsibility with saving the world has definitely been worn down by now. Not that it's not fun to watch and be inspired by, because I love those stories too, especially when I was a kid. But this movie kind of embraces that simplicity where Mei just wants to do normal kid things, like sing karaoke with her besties and go to concerts. So here's my take on Aaron T from Fort Town. Who should I draw next from Turning Red? Why are they called Fort Town though, when there's clearly five of them? It's a valid question, because why not Five Town? I guess it doesn't have the same flow to it. I've heard some theories that it's probably because Aaron T and Aaron Z share the same name, so fans just kinda group them together. Which kinda makes me sad because they sort of feel like the forgotten members of the group. Especially when Mei describes each boy's talent and then sort of glosses over the two Aarons. Another theory is that it could be because Aaron T and Aaron Z are from the same town, thus being Four Town. Or it could just be because there have been other boy bands in real life that have similar numerical names, but they don't line up with the number of boys in the group. For instance, Five Seconds of Summer is a group of four boys. So here's Aaron Z, and who should I draw next from Turning Red? The biggest thing about May's mom Ming is that not only did she strive for perfection, but had to do so within the constraints of what her own mother judged as socially acceptable. It's clear that despite being as perfect as possible, Ming's mother, Grandma Wu, has a certain air of doubtfulness about her own daughter Ming. And it pains 
paints this picture of why Ming is the way she is. Perhaps Ming is so fearful of losing that close bond with her daughter, causing her to be irrational in protecting her and keeping their bond close no matter what it takes. Ming and Grandma Wu may not have been as close when Ming was young. Ming probably grew up with a ton of anxiety that was bottled up. And when the panda manifested, it was huge. Of course, this is all just speculation. So what do you think and who should I draw next?